On laundry day, is your child watching the washing machine go round and round? How about rolling down hills or playing with the wheels of their toy cars and trains? What you are observing is the rotation schema. What is the rotation schema and why is it happening? It is the fascination with things or movements that are circular. The rotation schema is where your child shows interest in the action of rotating and they are actively seeking out to interact with things that turn. It is through rotation that children are learning how things move, which builds their thinking on cause and effect. Through this play, they are thinking about the questions why and how. Even with the physical action of rotating objects or their own bodies can promote fine and gross motor skills. With Play-Doh, your child can discover changing the material into different heights, widths, and shapes simply by turning or rolling the dough with their fingers and hands. And outdoors, your child might enjoy turning and spinning around in open space. Guess what? They are practicing their balancing skills. Maybe you find your child in an interesting position to hide in the best hiding spots. That too is them practicing rotation by twisting their bodies to fit into various spaces. As Martin Williams shares, through the interest of rotating and turning, children are developing an understanding of how objects and themselves move. It is the start of knowing and recognizing body positioning, balance, and coordinating themselves and other beings. This exploration will form a foundation for math and science as your child may go on to learn concepts of symmetry and magnetic fields in the school curriculum. And all of this learning starts through play. As a family, you can create a safe environment with a variety of materials for your child to further explore the rotation schema with materials like paper or plastic plates, pot lids, hula hoops, salad spinners, and many more. With supervision, you can engage with your child finding how to turn nuts, bolts, and screws, or rolling the paint roller too. These experiences will not only invite rotational schematic play, but also connect your child to the world by giving them learning opportunities with authentic materials realistically used. By observing, supporting, and extending your child's play, you are helping to facilitate their play journey and exploration rather than leading it. Come back next week as we discover the seventh play schema, trajectory. Don't forget to follow us on social media.